I hold the title Nawab of Pataudi by right. Having succeeded my late father, who ruled the small state of Pataudi in the Punjab, formed by the British in India. Until 1947, I had complete legal jurisdiction over the people, so long as I did not contradict British policy. But by 1941, when Mansoor was born, it was realized that royalty in India was finished. So I brought up my son as any well-to-do man might do, rather than as a prince, though he has retained the title. Despite his international fame as a cricketer and all-round sportsman, I preserve only a few clear memories of my father. They concern cricket matches in which I took part at the age of seven. Yes, you were fielding at extra cover, with me at cover. The ball was skied in my direction, and I was waiting on it with hands cupped. Suddenly I saw two other larger hands appear over my head, and he made the catch instead, saying, Well, I can't trust you at the moment. I was celebrating my 11th birthday with my sisters when my mother entered the room to tell us, your father is dead. Our father died in the saddle from a heart attack suffered during a polo match. I was only 41. My Vipatodis like to live life to the full and tend to die young. <laughs>